Continuing off the last tutorial of creating a basic group, this time I want to focus on some of the other options that this rope contains. I want to go over things like the length, the segments, the end offset, and the number of sides, while also exploring the stretch and bend properties. So, to start, I want to create a rope that's a bit longer. So I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And I want to change the length right here. So let's say 1,000. Now you'll notice that the length does not change. That's because I have to change the end offset to represent the length number. So I'll type in off. And you'll now see I have the end offset. I want to add, or I want to put in, 1,000. OK. So then what I want to do is just get this collision, make a copy. So press Control w and grab this and drag it across to the very end. Make sure it's at the end, which it is. And select my rope again. Next thing I want to do is test this out. So I'll just drag this over here and press play. Now, you'll notice that this rope is a bit stiff looking. And that is because of the number of segments that it has. What I need to do is change the number of segments. So, come back here and I'll change the number of segments to let's just say 30. Now, the more number of segments you have, the more of an impact it's going to have on performance. But I've always noticed that at about 30 and this length, I haven't had any problems. So if I hit compile again and press play, my rope definitely looks a lot better. But what I want to do is I want to get a visual representation of each one of the segments. Because this really helps out. So I'll scroll down. And I'll come over here to debug and click on the show particles and then the other option right below, the other show particle option. You'll now see my rope and you'll now see all the different segments throughout. So if I compile, come back here and hit play, you'll now see every segment. The red segments over here are my anchors. Okay. If I also want to change my rope just a little bit more, what I can do is I can change the number of sides this rope has. Just, you know, make it look a bit more round. So I'll come over here and type in side. And it'll say rope rendering, and I can bring this up. So you'll notice when I do that, it brings it up. So let's just say I stick it at 12. All right. So the final thing I want to do is I want to change some of the properties of the stretch and bend stiffness. Now the closer to 1 it goes, the more stiff it's going to be. Display. Now, it doesn't really look that stiff, but then again, I have a lot of segments right here. But if I bring this number lower now, I'll just say 0.1. Compile this. 
you'll now notice it sinks slower to start. And it has much more of a springy type of feel to it. Now all these options can be modified any way that you like. So you can leave them at default, you can make the stretch uh, looser, stronger, the bend stronger or looser, whatever you like. And those are just some of the other options that you can make while using the VD rope component.